Hey guys, I've had an overwhelming request for how I actually apply epoxy to my cups. So I thought I would do a quick one. I've started a longer one too, like from start to finish, so I'm still editing. I'll post that later. Um, but this one, I have a couple of cups here. All of these already have a coat of epoxy on them and they're cured. Um, they're just ready for um, a second or final coat. Um, I'm using a Lumilite Amazing Clear Cast. It's a two-part resin. Um, you can get it online. Hobby Lobby has it. Michael's has it. Uh, I don't know if Joann's has it anymore. They used to. It's one-to-one, uh, -one, so you mix equal parts of A and B, and then you mix it super slow. I like to use these plastic uh, bathroom cups. Or if I'm mixing a bigger batch, I'll use these like um, plastic party cups. You can also use silicone mixing bowls and throw them, or you can reuse those instead of having to throw them away. Um, that's the same thing with this spatula. This one's silicone, you can wipe it off while it's still wet or wait for it to dry and just peel it off. They come in different sizes too. These are specifically for epoxy. But the key here is to mix it really, really slow, scrape the sides and the bottom, and get a really good mixture with no bubbles or swirls. So you can kind of see it's it's cloudy right now. It's not mixed. So I'll just keep mixing. Uh, it can take like two or three minutes, even longer sometimes. You can warm it up. I never do. If you get big bubbles like that one. Um, you can just pop them. So I will finish mixing this up and then we'll come back and apply it. Alright, my epoxy is all mixed up. I'll show you. Now it's a lot clearer. You can see through it. There are some bubbles in there, but they will either pop while I'm applying or um, I'll hit it with my heat gun and pop the rest of them that way. And like I said, this um, is silicone so I can reuse this over and over. I just scrape off as much as I can back into my cup and then to clean it I just use uh, a baby wipe and clean all the excess off really well. You can also wait for it to dry completely or cure completely and peel it off but I'm impatient. I'd rather just clean it now and get it over with. When you're working with epoxy, it's really important that you understand um, the dangers that go with it. It is a chemical and you are creating a chemical reaction when you mix the two. Um, gloves are a necessity. These are nitrile gloves. I only really put them on one hand, the hand that I use to actually touch the epoxy. So far I haven't touched it. It's been in the cup or through a baby wipe, which I kind of probably did get some on me there. but. I'll wash my hands when I'm done. Um, you should also research different kinds of respirators because breathing, uh, curing epoxy is toxic. Even if you can't smell it, it's still in the air while you're working. Okay. Let me get this started. I like for my cups to spin against the way that I'm going to apply my epoxy. My turner, I can switch it back and forth, but I pretty much always go this way because I'm right-handed. So I'll dump with my left, smooth with my right. And that's as simple as it gets, really. I pour just a little bit on there and then start smoothing it out so it doesn't drip off. And it doesn't matter at first if it's very even, just get it all coated. Now this cup, like I said, it's already been prepped and glittered and it has a coat of epoxy on it already, then after that was completely uh, hardened, not necessarily cured, but hardened, I sanded it just a little bit because I had a few rough spots where a little bit of glitter was poking out. Sanded it, uh, wet sanded it in the sink and then washed and dried it really well. I used Dawn to wash it and then after I've washed it, I don't handle the cup again without gloves on. 
I retaped it with electrical tape to make sure that my tops and bottom rims are still going to be bare. And I prefer it uh, to be taped off just because it, I feel like it makes it more durable. Epoxy is pretty durable, but if you drop a cup, it can crack the epoxy. Now I will be totally honest, I've dropped several of my own personal cups because sometimes you just can't avoid it. Um, hands are full or trip on something. I have a really steep driveway. I had one roll under the car and all the way to the street. Um, the epoxy did not crack or anything, but the cup on the bottom dented. Had I epoxied all the way over the edge of the cup and to the bottom, that cup probably would have been a goner. So what I'm doing now is I'm just smoothing out the epoxy everywhere. I can feel where it has already been applied. It's more smooth and slippery. And then where the epoxy is not on the cup, it kind of catches. There's a little bit more friction. So I like to make sure that I go around where the tape is so I get enough epoxy in between the tape and the last coat on the top and the bottom. And then just make sure it's fairly even all the way around the cup. It will even out as it spins as long as the cup is level. If you have a crooked cup and it's tilted one way or the other, you'll have your epoxy run down and you'll have a big fat lip on the lower part. But as long as you keep it really straight and level, you shouldn't have a problem. You might recognize these colors on this cup. Since posting that first video, I've, I don't even know how many of this color combination I've done. And you know, I'm not tired of it. <laughs> It's pretty. Okay. So this one's completely covered. I don't feel anything on the top or the bottom that's poking out either. I'll take my glove off. And then just to make sure that it's even and there's no bubbles. I'm going to run my heat gun over it, and like I said, epoxy can be dangerous, and you shouldn't heat up epoxy without wearing a respirator. And I just use my lower setting and go one time over the whole cup. You can also use a torch, a little mini torch, like for creme brulee, um, and just run over it. You have to be really careful not to burn your epoxy, though, when you do that. I'll let this spin for about 15, 20 minutes, and then I'll come back, and I will take off the tape and show you how to clean up those edges so that you have a nice, um, nice smooth finish on the bottoms and the tops. This one's been spinning for about 15 minutes or so, uh, but I can tell that it's all evened out and smooth. You can tell right here by this um, reflection from my light. It's really straight. It's not like wavy and bumpy and doing some weird stuff. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and show you how I take the tape off of this. Uh, you will need baby wipes for this, and I like uh, these Parent Choice baby wipes from Walmart. They, uh, they're really a decent baby wipe. I used to use them on my kids when they were littler, but they're not super fuzzy. They're strong though. Those are my favorite ones. So the first thing I need to do is I actually pop mine off of my turner. And I like to leave a little tail that I can find and I peel it off going at a little bit of an angle.
Let me just drop that in the trash. And then you'll see where the tape connected, where the two ends met, there was a little bit that seeped under that seam. And so that's what these baby wipes are for. So I just wrap it around my finger and just gently go right up to the epoxy and smooth that line back out. That's it. And I just check for any more of those little, I call them tails. If you use a different kind of tape, sometimes I use masking tape if I can't find my electrical tape or I'm out. And they bleed a lot worse than electrical tape. So I try to not use it, but if I have to, I will. But there is a lot more cleanup, but this trick works really well. So here you can see my tail again where it seeped under. And so I just go right up against the epoxy line and smooth that back out. Check for any more. And it's all perfectly smooth. And I just pop it back on my turner, make sure it's straight. And then I don't touch it again uh, for about six or seven hours. It's pretty late here right now, so I will probably just let this spin overnight and come back and finish it in the morning. But that's how I apply my epoxy, how I get my edges nice and straight and clean, why I do it. But also just remember, epoxy can be dangerous. Some people are a lot more sensitive to it than others. Uh, I'm lucky that I can uh, handle it a little bit without breaking out in a rash, but that could change any time. So always wear your gloves, get a respirator that fits well and do your research on how to safely handle chemicals before you start. Super important. If this was helpful, please like and subscribe to my channel. Let me know what other tutorials you'd like to see. And that is it. So thanks guys.